Hey there, this is uh, René for GNS Trivolt, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure weighted fair queuing. Okay, so I got three routers here, and I configured EIGRP so that we have full connectivity, and then on router Ray in the middle, that's where I will um, change some of the stuff for weighted fair queuing. And the first thing we're going to do is change the bandwidth to 64 kilobits per second. So let's go to router array here, and I believe I need to use the serial 0 slash 1 interface. Bandwidth 64 kilobits. Okay, so what is the next step? Configure weighted fair queuing, and the output hold queue should be 128. The length, uh, length of 16 for the congestive discard threshold, and I want to have a maximum of 128 conversations and four queues if you're going to use RSVP. So let's see what we have to do here. Um, okay, so fair queue. This is how you enable it. Fair queue? Question mark. You can configure the congestive discard threshold which has to be 16 16 uh, number of dynamic conversation queues um, so with that I leave it over here 128 conversations 128 number of reservable conversation queues that'll be 4. So that's our RSVP. Enter. Okay, so that's good. Uh, the only thing I still have to do is this one. So the output hold queue size. And that's a different command. Because you need to type in the hold queue. And you can set it to 128, inbound or outbound like this. There we go. Uh, okay, so I did all of this. And the last step is that it says configure the hardware queue. So weighted fair queuing will be activated as soon as possible. So this is something you might see on a CCIE exam. And what I mean by that is that all of the QoS stuff that we do on the routers, it's always a software queue. And you still have a hardware queue, which is always FIFO, first in, first out. So if you see something like this, you need to make sure that you um, decrease the size of the hardware queue. And we can do this by using the TX ring limit command, which is also an interface command. TX ring limit and make it as small as possible. So I'm going to set it at 1. So this is your hardware queue. Alright, um, let me check my configuration. You can do show queuing and then we can look at fair, which will show the fair queuing config. So I made some changes for the serial 0 slash 1 interface. You can see the discard threshold is 16, dynamic queues is 128, and the reserved queues that's um, 4. And we can also do this on the interface level. Maybe we see a little bit more. And nope, we don't. That's exactly the same. Show queuing, interface. So this is another useful command. Show queuing interface serial 0 slash 1. You can see the queues over here. You can see the output queue that we have configured. Uh, conversations and you can see the reserved conversations. Um, you can also see available bandwidth. It says 48 kilobits per second. And that's by default for QoS. You can, uh, it will use 75% of the available bandwidth. And 75% of 64, that's 48. Uh, okay, so those are all the steps that I have 
uh, that I had to do. Now, if you want to test this configuration, um, I would suggest you do this on a real router connected um, to your network um, because you will need some real traffic to see what is going on uh, to see if your quality of service is running and it's really hard to test this in GNS3 because the only thing we the thing we have are virtual links it's all logical uh, it's emulated and there's no real throughput here so if you want to see your QoS in action connect it to your real network and send some real traffic through it Anyway, that's, uh, this is the end of this uh, lab. This is how you can configure weighted fair queuing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and till next time.